Thank you, Digger. And we have some more important things than scores right now. But what a great lady and what a great way to kick off this hour's tribute to Father Hesper. Joining us now is Father David Tyson, the recently announced Luke McGinnis Director of Nonprofit Professional Development in the Mendoza College of Business. Now, he has quite the resume. Father, T resume. Father Tyson is the former provincial of the USA province of priests and brothers of the Congregation of Holy Cross. He's a former president of the University of Portland and the former executive assistant to Father Ted Hesburgh. So welcome very Thanks, Jack. kindly and very nice, fully welcoming you to Notre Dame Day. First of all, welcome back to campus. Yes, it's nice to be back and thanks for uh, having me, that's for sure. Executive assistant to Father Ted Hesburgh. You were just 33 years old. It was. What was that like? It was an amazing um, experience. I, my, all of my uh, thoughts and feelings about Ted since his death have been gratitude and joy and, and really stemming from that experience. Um, I didn't know what it was and I wasn't so sure he did at the time. There hadn't been one to my knowledge. And I don't know the backstory, but um, I was sitting in my room in Dillon Hall, a fairly new assistant professor of management, and uh, it was after a late night mass and I had on a pair of shorts and a t-shirt and my phone rang. It was probably 11.30, and the voice on the other end said, uh, Hi, Dave, this is Father Ted Hesper. <laughs> and I paused, waiting for the prank line, and um, nothing happened. And I said, Who? And he said, Father Ted Hesper. Um, he said, I thought you might be interested in coming up to my office for a chat. So I, I really froze. Um, and uh, that uh, conversation led to my uh, very quickly getting dressed between terror and unbelief, um, going over to the main building, and he met me at the front door. Everything was locked up, and he met me there, and we went upstairs, and we chatted, and it was the sort of thing that um, I was a young Holy Cross priest, and we ate dinner together at Corby and prayed together, etc., but we didn't exactly hang out together, so I felt very much in the presence of um, an auspicious occasion and, and, and with him in my life. And um, it was a wonderful, I would say, two-hour conversation, and it was during that that he asked me if I would be interested in working with him as, as an executive assistant, and I asked him what that meant, and his pause was long, and he said, well, it would evolve as, uh, as we were together. So I spent two and a half years um, with him uh, in that job and then became vice president for student affairs, but at that time, and I'm very uh, conscious of it now uh, uh, since his death, is uh, everything that everyone said in testimony about him at his wake and funeral is certainly true, but it was a privilege for me to be able to live up close and personal to that for those two and a half years. And I saw, I believe, who he really was, and uh, I probably saw him at least once every day when he was in town. Um, my job was you name it, and I did it. Um, uh, from everything from correspondence to representing him to going with him, uh, places. Uh, so it was a real education. I call it Administration 101, but not in a classroom. Truly an enormous figure mm -hmm. in the 20th Absolutely. century with the way he influenced the entire world. And yet anybody who's worked on this campus for any length of time seems to have a Father Hesburgh story. My quick one was I had introduced him and, and said hello and talked with him briefly. But when Pope John Paul II died, they sent me on over. I did a lot of news to interview him about that. And as I left, he goes, Jack, you've never been here, have you, in his office? And he gives me a tour, and I'm thinking, I'm not worthy of this. Yes. But it really seems that he was a people person. Was he a people person? Absolutely. And what is remarkable about him is what you, what you saw was what you got. Uh, he didn't have a game face. Um, he was uh, who he was. Uh, he was even-tempered for the most part. I thought quite... Um, quite humorous. I'm smiling because I teased him a lot and his way to deal with that was to ignore me um, uh, when I did it. Um, but yes, he was very human and whether he was with the Pope or whether he was with a freshman, um, he was Ted. Is there anything that you can tell us about Father Ted that might surprise people? Anything you think people should know about him that they may not expect? That and it's a difficult not, question. Yeah, that they would not expect. Um, I, you know, I suspect something that people didn't see ever, because he rarely showed it, was uh, temper. And, um, but a couple times I saw him uh, get angry. And uh, one time, and the person wasn't there, um, so, but it wasn't kill the messenger. Mm -hmm. But one time it had to do with the, the awarding of a degree to a young woman student who was dying. 
And before we could do that, the, the, the woman died. And he asked me, so I went to see him, and I said, when do you want to confer the degree? And he said, well, we could confer it just today. So I said, okay, and we went, I went to the registrar, and a long story short, the registrar was reticent to do this because of university policy. So I just went up and told him, I said, you know, I don't know what to tell you, Ted, but I said, the registrar is telling me that we only confer degrees in August and in January. Well, let me tell you, he went, he went just like this. He said, the last time I heard, I was still president. I just conferred that degree, and I said, I'll take care of it. <laughs> um, he normally, that, that was a side of him that I had never seen. Um, but again, there was no game face. Uh, he adjusted to hit the environment and the people he was with, and also um, just a charitable person um, in his conversation with people, even if he disagreed with you. Well, in the Catholic religion has a lot of rules, mm -hmm. but I always thought that what made Father Hesper great was he was very pragmatic and practical with a great sense of what's right, yes. regardless if it falls yes. under the rules. Yep. I would say he had a will of steel when it came to his convictions. Um, and also, um, in, he, yes, he was a hard-nosed pragmatist. There was simply no doubt about it. Um, but pleasant to be with. I never went to work ever with him, even when there was bad stuff that was going to happen that day that I didn't enjoy um, going with him. I've always enjoyed talking with you. Great. Welcome back to campus. Yes, Great to have so you back. Thank you. Thank you. We'll be by, right back with more of Notre Dame Day right after this.